planteamos organizar este seminario, mmm, éramos conscientes de la necesidad que hay eh, y que tienen las empresas de conocer mejor al consumidor eh, y cuáles son los factores que determinan la elección de un producto frente a otro y que motivan la compra. Lo que, lo que buscan es conocer más al consumidor a través de la medida de las emociones, de ese factor más emocional que frente al racional que influye mmm, mucho en, la, en el comportamiento del consumidor. Eh, y por otro lado, pues eh, nuevas metodologías sensoriales más rápidas, involucrando paneles entrenados y también consumidores, pues que nos permiten comprender mejor qué quiere el consumidor, qué, qué busca los productos, qué necesita. So I come today to show you some cases on um, how you can use eye tracking or EEG, it's really neuroresearch or implicit association exercises to make better predictions, faster uh, predictions uh, on products and brands. Uh, to better understand actually how consumers really perceive um, innovations or quality of existing products. And in that way we hope to be able to help our clients coming with um, a shorter feedback and a faster time to market, actually to win money, um, to do less trial and error and give more guidance to, uh, uh, to our clients. I will be talking about a new innovative technique called napping, which we have tried to we have evaluated it to see whether you can use that for uh, with naive consumers to understand their perception of products and uh, i must say we are very happy because it it seemed to be a very easy and uh, fast way of getting to know more about consumer perception so because of uh, industry demand, there have been a lot of uh, questions about uh, rapid methods. How can we do it really fast? And uh, I've been looking into that for many years. And uh, some of our work, which I will present, is, uh, is dealing with uh, comparisons between traditional methods and the new rapid methods. And we see uh, on validity and we, we see on reliability of these methods. Can we really trust the result when we do it that fast? And for some purposes, yes, we can trust them very much. And for others, we have to think about what we do. Methodologies are both quantitative, very qualitative, and they cross a whole range of different types of methodologies to, uh, to get at these uh, aspects of products. And this type of research is very, uh, it's very specific. It's not uh, the typical kind of market research that many companies do. It's very different to tracking and keeping ahead of uh, how their sales are doing, etc. But it's uh, very, very important and it certainly, if it's used in the uh, methodologies that they use, it uh, means that they are much more successful. Desde Consumolab y AINIA pues, hemos trabajado en lo que es la segmentación de diferentes consumidores en base a la percepción que tienen de alimentos funcionales. Hemos trabajado específicamente utilizando una metodología que es el análisis conjunto eh, y utilizando un ejemplo de yogur líquido enriquecido con calcio y vitamina D. Lo que hemos visto es que el envase es primordial para la consumidora, es lo que más guía su, su aceptación, por así decirlo, del producto, luego seguido del reclamo sobre la salud. Mm -hmm.